Welcome to Nature's Lit. In this episode, we explore the amazing world of the Costa Rican variable harlequin toad, or Atelopus varius. This particular toad gets its name from the fact that it's quite variable in its appearance. Unlike other toads, which tend to have more uniform coloring, the Costa Rican variable harlequin toad can display a wide range of colors and patterns. This makes it one of the most visually striking amphibians out there, earning it the nickname of Clown Frog. That's also why it's called the Harlequin Toad, because Harlequins were nimble jesters that were usually portrayed in colorful, checkered clothing. These toads are incredibly interesting creatures and very endangered. In this episode, we'll take a deep dive into the world of the Clown Frog, their importance for some cultures, the massive threat to their survival, as well as their fascinating ecology and biology, including how their omnivorous diet helps them produce a very potent venom. So let's get started. The clown frog is a native of Costa Rica and it's found in the tropical rainforest of the country. But this amazing little guy was thought to be extinct for 30 years before being rediscovered in a remote area of Costa Rica again. These frogs are small, only reaching about 2 inches in length. They're also very colorful with bright patterns of orange, red, and yellow on their bodies. The clown frog is a member of the family which includes other well-known species such as the common toad. In some places, harlequin toads have tremendous cultural value. In Panama, there is a national holiday celebrating the Panamanian golden toad, which is also their national animal. Images of this harlequin toad can be found on their lottery tickets and artwork in markets. Some communities even consider harlequin toads to be a symbol of fertility and ecosystem health. And in fact, the clown frog is an important part of the rainforest ecosystem. These frogs help to control the population of insects because the clown frog is an omnivore and it will eat just about anything it can find. These frogs are especially fond of insects, but they will also eat spiders, snails, and other small animals. Actually, many of the insects these frogs feast on are poisonous. And over time, the toxins build up in their system and become concentrated in their skin, making the frogs themselves poisonous. The toxins in the clown frog's skin can cause nausea, vomiting, and even death if ingested. This is helpful because it discourages predators. They have no predators besides a species of fly that will lay eggs on the frogs. But when these eggs hatch, the larva will burrow into the frog and eventually eat the frog from the inside out. Nevertheless, the greatest threat to their existence is not from predators, but they do face threats that put the clown frog in danger of disappearing forever. These frogs are threatened by habitat loss, climate change, pollution, and disease. In fact, according to Rewild, despite their important role in cultures across the neotropics and their vital role in the ecosystems in which they live, including as indicators of water quality, entire species of harlequin toads started vanishing in the mid-80s, shocking biologists and spurring conservationists to action. A deadly infectious disease called chytridiomycosis, chytrid for short, has begun its spread through the neotropics and continues its destruction today. Chytrid ultimately results in what is akin to a heart attack in the animals it infects. So what can be done? There are several things that we can do to help save the clown frog. We can help to protect their habitat by conserving the rainforest. We can also support research that is working to find a cure for the diseases that are affecting these frogs. These efforts can help ensure that these amazing creatures stick around for generations to come. For more mini explainers and insane nature videos, click the like button and make sure you subscribe to our Nature is Lit channel.